Hello, good people of the internet. Welcome back to more Nina Aquila, Legal Eagle. Meow. Meow. Where even is Eagle? In your chair behind you. Oh, of Legal. course. <laughs> uh, defense and... Yeah, okay. Maybe not sleeping? Kind of hard to tell. She's just laying there. Yeah, just chilling. Did I tell you what happened this morning, by the way? So you know how my this chair is kind of tilted towards my bed? Yeah. When I woke up this morning, um, I saw Eagle sitting in the chair, and the chair is tilted toward my bed like it is now. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was like half awake. She was kind of just like staring at me as I was waking up. And uh, I just noticed like just how cute she is because she's adorable. And uh, She's your cat. Yeah. And I made an audible, aww. And immediately, she just starts purring. Like, all I did was say, aw, and she just starts purring. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Aw. Yeah. <laughs> She's just the cutest cat. I love her. She knows how... She knows that you appreciate her cuteness. Of course. <laughs> so she's all like... Yeah, that's bad. Love on me. <laughs> Good kitty. Right. Ah, oh, fine. That's a nice photo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get yeah, your yeah. mind off the... Out of the gutter. I was going to say off the gutter, but that doesn't make any sense. Don't judge me. I'm judging. I'm too busy judging you for you to judge me. Wrong. Because I judge you harder than you judge me. Because I have no shame. You activated my trap card! I also have no shame! I activate my trap card. You're ace! You don't have an opinion! Oh! <laughs> Time for round two. Let's get to the card house. The card house? The, the card house. Card house? The house of cards? The house of cards, yes. Ooh. Oh, right, right. Come on, Nina, you need your exercise. I don't know. I mean, probably. I don't think she exactly gets out much. Well, then again, I, I don't think she has a car, so... Uh, assuming this isn't a scale, because it's obviously not, that means she's probably walking, what, like, one, two, three, four, five blocks to the casino? Yep. Oh, wait. <laughs> Where was the courthouse again? Right there. Okay, so hold on. Well, well she walked five uh, blocks to the casino yesterday, but... One, two, three, three four. four. And a half, I guess. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess she is getting her exercise. District Courthouse, Courtroom B, December 6th. It's also a lot easier going downstairs than it is coming up. Yeah. Same place as always. The bench on the left. Wow. Why don't you just... Hmm. I guess... I, I guess I wondered if things would feel different from this side of the room. Guess not. Hello? It... I'm supposed to get an achievement for this. You already got it. No, I didn't. Are you sure? Was I supposed to do it on like the first day? Because I didn't do it on the first day, but I don't feel, I don't. I don't know. I feel like it shouldn't matter what day I do it on. Maybe you're going to do it while like Chad's there or something and he go, you go over there and he like actually kicks you off or whatever. You know, kind of like the uh, convenience store clerk lady. Maybe. Or, whoa, ooh. Are you going to? The judge. You are. <sighs> I could get used to this. Wait, is that a cup holder? Hey, you! Vacate the judge's bench! Sorry. There we go. Now it procced. Wrong seat. Are you happy? Yes! I wanted the achievement! You could have gotten it out of your own time! Whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. It's not that big a deal. Nina! Hey, Dylan. Did you speak to Terry? Terry! Ah, 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 ah. Never mind that. Listen to this. I got some infighter info. Guess who I just passed in the hall? Marcus Steele and Axel Rays. You know, fun. Did you see them too? No. Then how? Because that's what I would do. Because because it's what I would. Because it because it's what I would do. Why didn't you just spit on me? I do. It was disgusting. <laughs> We're partners, but not like that. All right. Save that for later. If we ever, you know, get there. Although I'm pretty sure you're gonna hook up with Chad anyway, so I don't really care. You disgust me. I spit on you. <laughs> spit on the unbeliever. <laughs> I don't even know what we're doing right now. I don't either. Hawk w Being um, stupid like usual. Yeah, of course. Hawk will try and eliminate them from running to leave Scrub as a whole. So the, 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 the Hawk will try to. Well, 
will want to try and to <sighs> Hawk will want to try and eliminate them from running. So to leave scrub from the running. From the running. Fuck! <laughs> it's a good thing my parents are gone for the weekend. <laughs> because now I can say fuck as loud as I want. <clears throat> fuck, dude. Fuck! There we go. <laughs> I think Chris made that one. Oh, uh, did it? Oh well. I think so. To leave scrub is the sole suspect. Wonder why you didn't call Stella. I guess she wanted to be here regardless. Still, she has a pretty airtight alibi. Remember what she told us? I ended up taking selfies and signing autographs with fans. Then why not call her anyway? Is that good for Hawk's case? That was my lie. Eh. Well, you can read it again if you want. On the surface, yes. Or read my line, fine, whatever. <laughs> Which makes me nervous. Unless a prosecutor would call her anyway to drive home their point. Instead, he's called Axel. Is Silver's rival, in life and in business, who has no alibi. Dylan may refuse to believe it, but Axel's position is almost as precarious as Terry's. What's Hawk thinking? Maybe Hawk actually also just wants to get to the truth, instead of always wanting to win. <clears throat> Miss Aquila. Because, you know, if you remember from Phoenix Wright, when we first met Edgeworth in the game, he was, you know, all, winning was all he cared about. And then yeah. eventually we had to teach him that, you know... No, it's not about winning, it's about finding, finding the, the truth. truth. But maybe, maybe Hawk in this game already realizes that, and we just think he's a dick when he actually might be a really cool guy. Mm -hmm. That's my, that, that's what I'm guessing at least. That would be neat. Or maybe it's a, one of those kinds of things where like, he's pulling a dick move because he's still thinking like a dick and we have to teach him through his misuse of whatever's going on that but how can't do that or something. How would this be a dick move? Because it's actually helping us. Well, it is and it isn't. Because he, he's calling to the... He's going to try and call to the stand Axel, Razor, and Marcus Steele, right? Both of whom have no alibi that we're aware of, right? Mm -hmm. Which would put them in question. Right. And they're the two most highly suspected killers. Other than, I guess, Harry. Mm-hmm. So, if he's going to try and eliminate both of them from the running, that would be good. But the the mere fact that he's him. even yeah, but the mere fact that he's all even calling them up here well, is because he be somehow managed to attain their like testimony or something, and we haven't yet. So this might be him presenting completely new evidence we have never even seen or heard before, and won't get a chance to until we have our cross examined. Maybe, but that would still be helpful to us because then that would give us information we didn't have before. Yes, but what if the information they give us doesn't put Terry in a better light? It's still more information. More Any information is good information. Even if it, at first, doesn't seem to help us. Well, but if it comes out and it directly implicates Terry... I don't know if there can be any more direct implication than what the, what the witness already said about finding him standing over the body. I mean... That's fair, unless one of them comes in and is like, yeah, I actively saw him stabbing the corpse. But <laughs> how? Remember. How How would, the, that would that would go against the other witness's testimony, though? Because yeah, Terry was the only one in the room, yeah. and the maid was next door cleaning or whatever, didn't mm. notice anything until she came back. Exactly. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. I believe you were Chad. I already read the line. Did you? Okay. Yeah. Chad. Chad. <laughs> I hear you're quite the card sharp now. Sharp? Isn't it? Uh, yes. Isn't, isn't it supposed to be card shark? With a K? Uh, well, yes and no. Card shark usually refers specifically to, like, you know, really good, like, poker players and gamblers and stuff. People who are really good at not showing tells, who are good at reading other people, who are good at, you know, betting when it actually will benefit them, or, you know, playing bluffs. And just people who are really good at gambling with each other and other people. Card sharp refers to people who someone just really good with playing general card games. Why have two terms that sound so similar to each other? Because people. <laughs> okay. Duelist, actually. Really, you are a woman of many talents. Oh, get a room already, you two. <laughs> you know they're going to. I mean, probably. Like, like, not right now, obviously, but like later down the line, they're probably totally gonna hook up. <laughs> I'm gonna deck you down, Nina. Check yourself before you deck yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna deck you down even harder. Oh my god. Is 
practicing law among them. Hey. All rise for the Honorable Judge Tawny. Please be seated. We are assembled here today for the second day of trial of Terry Scrub, who stands accused of murder in the first degree. Sorry. <laughs> It, it's at the first, first degree. degree. I didn't mean. I I I really pressed a button by accident. <laughs> Mr. Hawk, Miss Aquila, you have had an additional forty-eight hours to revise your cases. Are you prepared? The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. And you, Miss Aquila? Yes, Your Honor. Keep saying it, Nina. You might just. It might just be true one day, someday. Very well, Mr. Hawk. Please make your opening statement. Of course. <clears throat> the prosecution still asserts that Terry Scrub is guilty of the murder of Joel De Silva. However, it has been suggested that another person in possession of a casino stairwell pass could have had access to the victim's room around the time of the murder. The prosecution disputes this as interpretation of events, and we intend to illustrate this via testimony. Nina, he didn't mention... Shh. Dylan's right, though. Hawk didn't... Hawk wasn't at the safe. It was Flatfoot. If he didn't visit the safe, could he have missed something? No, that's too simple for him. He must not believe that the robbery helps his, helps his case, or he would have mentioned it. Let's put a pin in that for now. Perhaps he doesn't think it's tied to this. Perhaps. Additionally, we have tracked down and spoken to a, every person who possesses a casino stairwell pass. And that's why I didn't have time for the safe. Most of them were hotel staff who have clear alibis. Or they're at work, invisible on the hotel's own security surveillance system. Stella Faraday, a VIP at the event, also has a pass. But there are posts on Bleeder. I'm, I'm sorry, Bleeder? Sorry, I don't know why I thought I was a judge for a second. <laughs> You've never played the judge. I know, I just... <sighs> I don't know. I don't have an excuse. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a social network website, Your Honor. People make short posts on it called Bleats. Oh, the one with the sheep logo? My granddaughter uses it. She keeps showing me these, uh, meme things? Meme things? Well, it, it it's it's memes, but some people jokingly call them memes, but I could imagine some people, old people might like Maymays, call them Mimis, like the at ats aka the AT-ATs from Star Wars. Because Mimis would be two E's. It is two E's. Well, no, I mean two, like M-E-E-M-E-E. -E -E. Like, no? Yeah, because... Me, how do you spell me? Okay, yes, but that's... So let's smash them two together. No, because, me -E. because of me, the E is at the end of the word. So? So, if it's not at the end... I guess you say maybe it's me, uh... Instead of calling it meme, me, me, me. Because they both make the same fucking sound. Yeah, but if they don't me, know, if me. they don't know it's pronounced meme... So it would be a lot easier to call it me, me. Why would they call it a meme? -me? That implies a wholly different accent altogether. Or possibly even other letters that aren't in the word. Anyway. Anyway. Meme's? Does she mean memes? See, Dylan, you get it. I don't think I want to speculate. <laughs> As I was saying, there are selfie photos on Bleeder of Stella Faraday that coincide with the timing of the crime. I'm sorry, selfie? A uh, self-taken photo, Your Honor. I don't even. I uh, I was trying to. I was gonna. I was trying to. Gonna try to think of something to for her to say, but I. I don't. I. I'm, I'm drawing a blank. So. Yeah. She couldn't have been directly involved. You were right, Nina. Uh, you were right, Nina. You know, you sound so surprised, Dylan. Thank you, Mr. Hawk. Why was she so angry there? I don't know. Like that, I get, you know. But thank you, Mr. Hawk. Thank you, Mr. Hawk. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Bailiff, please bring in the defendant. The defendant. Defendant. <laughs> defendant. <laughs> Judge? Judge, you, you doing all right? Judge? 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 <laughs> Judge? 
Judge! Judge! Yeah, like the snake thing. Yeah. Uh oh right, I'm I'm Terry now because you we traded. Yes, Your Honor? Wait, you're Terry? Yeah, because we traded Dylan for Terry. Right, because it right. Yeah. It is customary for me at this time to ask that you reconsider your plea. Uh what? <laughs> Very well, the court accepts your new plea. Not now. Not guilty, Your Honor. Very well. The court recognizes your plea. Prosecution, bring forth your first witness. Okay, here we go. Uh. Pluck wants to establish that each of the witnesses has an alibi that proves they couldn't have been at the murder scene. We have to look for any cracks in their stories and bust them wide open. There has to be some way to suggest someone else could have been there. You ready? Okay, so if we're going through this and it turns out that Axel and Marcus both have alibis that prove they weren't there, can't be Terry, just because of the style of game and everything we're playing. It can't yeah. be Terry. Yeah, it's never the defendant. So that means I, well, it has to be... I was going to say it's never the actual defendant, but there was that one Phoenix Wright case. Regardless. Probably <laughs> after the episode, so this way it's not on recording, so Melody can... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Uh, but regardless, since it's not ever the defendant, that means it has to have been somebody else. And if it's not going to be Marcus, Stella, or Axel then it has to have been some other mysterious fourth person we have yet to see. Well, it could be that one person that we saw during the uh, tournament, that one person that was hanging out in the back that left after the match was over. I thought that was Axel. No, because Axel was one of the ones competing. Oh, that's right. There was some guy in, like... I didn't get a good look at him. Again, I, I mistook him for Axel, so... Well, they were, like, they were like in all black. I think they had, like, angel wings. Like, it probably was part of a costume. Uh, they also had, like, a mask on. Um, I don't know, kind of looked like, almost like a gimp uniform. <laughs> Probably wasn't, but... I highly, highly doubt it was any kind of gimp outfit. <laughs> the, 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 gimp outfits have a very distinct black latex Right, look. but it, but it was, it was a, it was a black outfit like that, mm. kind of. There must be, like, a fourth champion, like, the, the, the version of, like, Bandit Keith or something we just have yet to see. Maybe. Anyway. In America. America. <laughs> the prosecution calls Marcus Steele to the witness stand. Was I? I think I'm, you were, Marcus. I'm pretty sure you were. I'm pretty sure you were. No, because I was Dylan and we were talking to him and I'm... Pause and go back and look. God. <laughs> I, well, I can't really... Pause. Uh, the recording. Oh yeah, you can pause the recording. Okay. okay, we're back, and I was right. Johnny was Marcus. Yep. Ready and waiting, Mr. Prosecutor. I always rise to the occasion. Always ready to get my duel on. Always on the next step of my journey to the top. Marcus Steele, at your service. I hope that the courtroom's anywhere. Stand from a bit. No arena tempers this steel. Oh my god. This is just another rung of the ladder. I might climb to be the very best, like no one ever was. So, wait. Are you walking on a journey or climbing a ladder? <clears throat> well said. What? I can't stand mixed metaphors. Order! <laughs> Order! Mr. Steel, was it? <clears throat> the one, the only! A simple yes will suffice. Well, someone had to say it. Yes, my name is Marcus Steele. Very well. Could you explain why you were at the hotel on the day in question? No sweat. I came to prove myself on the world stage. Mine are the cards that... Well, like, rule the heaven or something. Mine are the cards that will pierce the world! <laughs> what was it? It was like a... I don't remember. Was that from Evangelion? Is that what that is? No, there's... I will build the Giga Drill to pierce the world no, or no, something? No, no, uh, no. Uh, uh, but I, we're thinking of the same thing. It's Gurren Lagann. Gurren Lagann? The Gurren Lagann. It was like, my drill! Wait, is it Gurren Lagann or is it Gurren Lagann? Gurren Lagann. Gurren Lagann. Gurren Lagann. Okay, just... I thought I had to pronounce it right, but a lot of people on the internet call it Gurren Lagann, so... I, I know. I, I, I sometimes will also just call it Gurren Lagann because it's easier to say sometimes, but... 
Anyway, Gurren Lagan. Uh, it was like, this drill will be the drill to pierce the heavens! Or something like that. I thought it was to pierce the world. Maybe it is the heavens. I don't... I think, I think it's the heavens. I don't remember the meme all that well. I haven't seen the show, so... You haven't seen Gurren Lagan? No, Nick. There's a lot I haven't watched. Okay, well, that's something we, I need to show you. Why? Because it's good! Apologies, Mr. Steel. Um, stage? Y Your Honor, if I may. Please do. Uh, Mr. Steele was at the hotel to attend the um, DFA card game tournament. He's staying in the room directly above where the murder took place. I went into the tourney ranked fourth in the world, and I'm gonna be the very best! Axel Rays, Stella Faraday, Joel De Silva, none of them compared to the power of my <laughs> order! Mr. Steele, these outbursts of yours simply must stop. And I'm sure you have better places to be, such as at your children's card game tournament. Uh, well, I... Uh, of course! I'm gonna... Silence! I kill you! Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> right, as he was about to say another monologue. Play another... Mo <clears throat> about to play another monologue card. <clears throat> uh, your Honor. If I may be so bold... Yes, Mr. Hawk? If we have established the witness's identity and reason for being there, could we please move on to his, uh, formal statement? Very well. Mr. Steele, please explain what you were- where you were on the afternoon of the 14th when the murder is believed to have taken place. No problem. You can count on... concisely, Mr. Steele. Grief. Never gonna happen. Too much of an anime character. Right. Also, I need to get at least my horse shoes. It's killing my ankles. Oh, dude, yeah. You should have taken those shoes off like a long time ago. I can't believe you still had them on. It's, well, anyway. Why? Oh, shit. Did it actually... Are you bleeding? Oh, I don't think so, but I think it... I'm definitely rubbing it raw. Fuck. Oof. It's only the right shoe. I don't know why. And it's only been doing that. Well, anyway, it's time to it's time to end the episode anyway, so we can uh, treat I that real quick. I don't quick. need a bandaid or anything. I just sheesh. Yeah. Uh, see you guys next time. I'm a little bit of padding or something to stuff on my shoe. Yeah. Okay.